This is the island of Namuka. It's a rugged, raw, and deliciously pristine little island hidden away deep in the South Pacific. It's home to around 300 people, and the only way here is by sea. That's me. This is my husband, Jason. And this is our floating home about the world, Curiosity. We've just sailed over along with our friend Cyril, who knows one of the local families. Meet the Sheens. Dave, Tris, and Dior. They hail from Australia, but have sailed all over, raised their children on the sea, and set up this base camp on Namuka six years ago. Typically, they run live aboard adventures, but with the borders closed, this will be their second season with no guests, which means no income. But like many remote islanders, they built their home off the grid and are well-versed in living off the land. Can you throw me one? Oh, yeah! Good toss. Well, what do you want to see? The systems or how it was Give us set a, I mean, or? so first of all, you built this whole thing yourself, right? Mm. I mean, not yourself, but like yeah. all of you. Yeah, 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 we all pretty much put it together. I mean, this is what we call the barn, and everyone gathers here to play table tennis and hang out on the couch, and, and we eat dinner here, and when we've got guests here, we're pretty much all using this area, so it's a nice communal area. Uh, we have a third of this building here as operations room, so we've got all our solar gear and electronics and things in there, and the rest of it's the kitchen, really. A barbecue out the back and that's all we need. Everything's run off of solar, batteries and rain capture. Yep, yeah, yep. we're completely off grid. We've got no access to any of the village's facilities. Yeah. Let that sink in. Like no connectivity to anything like on the grid or water. Like totally on your own. It was quite sort of daunting in the first place okay. to actually disconnect from the yacht <laughs> and come ashore and go okay well I think at the time we actually only had one 5,000 litre tank we did actually run out of water at one point and we were carting desalinated water from the yacht oh into God. shore but we've since beefed up our water storage so we've got 47,000 litres at the moment 47,000 yeah. litres yeah. yeah it sounds yeah. like a lot it's not much when you've got 15 people here, yeah. but it's absolutely yeah. truckload when there's only three of us here. <laughs> Solar inspection. Build a house you can climb around on, I like that. Each panel's 250 watt, 30 volts, and we've got two connected to Dior's valet and three connected to here. It's enough power to it keep going. It is enough power. I'm having problems with the storage with lead acid batteries, so definitely going to change over to lithium. It's yeah. going to change your life. I hope so. Yeah. <laughs> for the price. And then you keep everything pretty simple with the uh, foot pumps for water. I think we saved about 50% of our water that we would normally use either in a shower or in a sink situation. You're working for it while you're... Well, if you think about it, you yeah. know, you go to turn the tap on and then you grab the soap uh, and then you wash your hands and then you put the soap over there then you turn the water off. Whereas if you're on a foot pump, your hand's free and you grab the soap, then you get the water going, yeah. you know, going in. If your foot stops, the water stops, water stops you yeah. Know, so. <laughs> yeah, but it's not only that, it saves water and it saves electricity. Yeah. So. Being long-time liveaboard sailors, the Sheens have learned a lot about managing resources and have an impressive setup, including composting toilets. Oh, is it respectful? <laughs> <laughs> Airflow is the real key that I found to this system. You actually can sit on that toilet sometimes and the air's rushing, <laughs> rushing down into there. That's, and that's perfect, you know, not only does it get rid of the odors, but it evaporates all the moisture, um, so it stays relatively dry. You sleep over here in a, would you call it a fale? Or? Yeah, they're basically six meter by six meter fales, each with an ensuite. You know, Tris likes to have a, a studio area yeah. um, to create art. And I like to have a little bit of space to play the guitar. And, and of course, these are my yeah. toys up here. And yeah, it's got plenty of room for all of that. But what I find uniquely curious is the decor. Canvas and paintbrushes aside, this is clearly a dwelling of artists and nature lovers. In the 
really close this up in a storm, but most of the time it's just really open and stand in the shower and look at the sea. Yeah, that's <laughs> cool. Yeah. It's an impressive gallery of upcycling, from reclaimed materials to the endless supply of rubbish that washes up on their beach. I think they're all ex-fishing floats. Well, this one's obviously a high-density one, so yeah. it's meant to be pulled down to big depths. So this is your house. This is my little shack. <laughs> this is my house. It's actually doubled as the cyclone bunker. All the glass bottles went into the aggregate for the concrete footings. It's a lot stronger. It's got the tin roof. It's like a structure and we have had to bunker down in quite a few storms in it. It's good to last. Hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> it's also kind of a little bit of a storage. Oh yeah. This is Complete with mosquito net. I'm very messy sheets. <laughs> it's okay, it looks... It makes the bed down here. It's like tangled myself up in the night. I've just done a whole repaint, painted the walls white, because I was like, yeah, need some light in here. And then yes, it's all self-sustained, so it's got solar panels and composting toilet, hot shower. And that's your view. That is my shower. While showering oh. and brushing your teeth. Yeah. Voila, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> not a bad view either like the only thing is if you're trying to like study something here you're sitting out and you can just see the surf and you're like oh do i yes, need to study it's a nice day yeah good thing i don't do school anymore because <laughs> that was torture <laughs> 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 Must be that new feed. <laughs> Must be all this coconut. Good lady. Oh, I don't have my making server. Now those are free range hens. We're in between things at the moment. So, so this is the off season really, mm. right? So you don't really get a whole lot. So what can you grow right now? Right now, Pele, so this one here that's a local slippery spinach, which is in the hibiscus family, grows all year. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. I can't really say we garden it because it's so easy. Yes. But yeah, yeah. you make sure you've got it. Um, the turmeric is coming along really well now. So this is all turmeric. Turmeric here. Yeah. And can you eat the leaves as well or just the root? Hey, quick Google it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, a turmeric flower. Yeah. So pretty. Does it smell good? I actually don't know. <laughs> Try. Ooh, yeah. Does it? smell good. Kind of smells like turmeric. I know, right? A little more blossomy. Sweet. <laughs> um, snake beans were really good this summer, actually. So we had masses of snake beans, but um, I haven't propagated too many just yet. This is a ginger plant. And we've got quite a lot of ginger, which ginger and turmeric, as you probably know, is really good for you. Yeah. These are my favourite. Spaceship chilies. The spaceship chilies. <laughs> Aliens do exist. <laughs> and they're very spicy. <laughs> um, okra has grown really well all year too. Oh yeah, I've noticed that you guys have that one for dinner. Like okra and the salads and stuff, yeah. so that, that's yeah. all yours. It's part of the hibiscus family as well, as you can say. This is lemon basil, right? Yeah. yeah. Or basil. Basil. If you're Australian like me. Yes. It's basil. 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 <laughs> Definitely basil. No, we only have ba basil and tomatoes here. There's no basil and tomatoes. <laughs> this is a pumpkin. Or going to be a pumpkin. And a guava tree. And of course, plenty of bananas everywhere. Last okra of the season. <laughs> Here it is. I can't even see it. You're just covering well, it with your hand. Uh, that's what she said. Yeah. 
That one's ready to pick. One of my favorites. Yeah, those are the spicy peppers. Coconuts, mangoes. Oh my gosh, it's hot. It's my kryptonite. Is it taro? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Jem figured out riding horses. That's the next step on our journey here, but not just your average ride. But I'm not gonna spoil. So they move their horses all over the island, which is incredible. They're always in different spots because there's so much food, obviously, all around for them to eat. So they're just constantly putting them in different places and then taking them into the paddock in the afternoon. But before they take them to the paddock, they do, well, you're about to see. You gotta go deep in the bush for your horses around here. I see that tree moving, he must be eating the tree. Wild foraging horses. Oh, a Nikki for a Nikki. I mean, what do you do? Oh. Give it a go, right? Yes. <laughs> Grace is her middle name. <laughs> and that's exactly how they did it back in the day. <laughs> oh, okay, I'm gonna lose the flip flop. <laughs> yes, Mike's right. Hi, Nikki. This is Chico and Taffy. Taffy. <laughs> so oh. it's actually mother and son. Oh, uh, cool. She's she's big mama. Hold her head up. Yeah. Um, Hello. No snacking. And who's this here? This is Smokey, and this is mother and son. Oh, cool. These are the flip-flops that they let Nikki borrow. And these are super funny. Here, look at this. Notice, they don't match. And they told me that they found them both at different times. <laughs> That's how it goes here. They try to reuse as much as possible. It's just such a different way of life. I mean, flip-flops wash up on the shore and now they're your shoes. And I love that, I love it. I could definitely live here. These are wild mushrooms, they're called woodier. Well, they're sort of shriveled up now, but when it rains, they come out, boom, really big, they said. They're supposed to be super tasty and obviously mushrooms, so they're super healthy. There's so much food growing on this island. It's like they can have pretty much anything. They even have an orange tree. I'll show you that later. And papaya, oh, okay. it just keeps going. Okay, I gotta catch up with the horse.
Isn't this just paradise, right? Beautiful sandy beach, perfect water. They have like four different breaks for surfing all around here. Beautiful reef right behind me. Just heaven. Just heaven. And normally in non-COVID times, they'll have wildlife, their catamaran, anchored out right here as well. And they do whale tours, whale watching tours, and they sail so you can live aboard and sail and go swim with the whales. Like, ah, just paradise. I love it. Nikki, Nikki. No. Ah, uh, going after the nanners. So yummy. What did you say? Everybody likes coconut. Look at that line of happy horses and chickens. <laughs> it's got a bit of hardwood on it. Watch your teeth. Mm. So good. So good. Can I get my camera? <laughs> of course. <laughs> See? Come on. No. Now I lose because I let you in? <laughs> Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. He's out. Jeez, <laughs> ah. he's a ninja. <laughs> this guy's gifted, I swear. <laughs> yeah, he was like college pro, three time college pro. Oh, I went huh? to China three times. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's, he's practically Forrest Gump. <laughs> he's out. Jeez. Next. Um. Next. Line him up. Oh, Come on. It's Dave's okay. table. Um, no, you right. <laughs> Tom, who are you and why are you here? Long why story Tom short. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I've known these guys for six, he, seven years now. I think it was about like six years ago he washed up on the beach. <laughs> <laughs> I basically washed up on the beach from another boat. Yeah, which is kind of funny. You guys saved me. I came in on a boat that was looking for shipwrecks. We didn't find any shipwrecks. <laughs> I hung out with these guys for four or five months. And when I, I ended up buying a boat in Tahiti, sailed it back to come and hang out with these guys again. And kind of been back and forth ever since, I guess. Hey. Yeah. So now the question is, has it been by invitation or is he just barge right in? No, they, I, it was invited. This guy. He just you keeps coming me back and we send him away. And he it's, keeps like, coming. it's like Gromit, you know? It's, it's like, like a the lost dog. dog. I think they kind of like me here. This is the risk of rescuing <laughs> things. Hello, lady. Hey. Gubby, you're not a chicken. I didn't realize you were going to be picking that much Pele. Holy smokes. Well, I did that because it needs trimming at the top. And then I'll just pull all the leaves off and then put it back in the ground and I've got more plants. Oh. <laughs> it's my type of gardening. <laughs> Yeah, so I did that anyway. Looks pretty. So some for dinner and some for replanting. Yeah, it's a nice rainy day job actually, putting these. So you just go and um, basically just shove these back in the ground again. That's it? Seriously? Yeah, seriously. 
and they'll just sprout roots and take off. Yep. That's my type of gardening too. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you need in mind? Yeah. Okay. Chips. They're so thick. Well, because they're not they're not crisps. Uh, We've had this discussion. Yes. I forgot. Crisp chips come in a packet. <laughs> crisps, crisps come in a packet, right? Yes, like a potato chip. Yeah. This is more like French fries. Yeah. No. Yeah. But, but wait, yeah. wait, wait, wait. Hold on. But in the UK, crisps, chips. No. No, in New Zealand, it's chips and chips. Chips of potato chips in a bag. I would say this is more fries versus chips. Well, Americans just Crisps. would call them chips and french fries. They're either like fries, wedges, or chips. Okay. <laughs> the great chip debate. Are they going to try to that? Yes. Vote? <laughs> yeah, it's, it's fried and... What's your vote? Yeah, and fresh. <laughs> From tree to table within hours, huh? That's right. Changing my mixing or not? Rice! Not cup of noodle. <laughs> It's like ready all the cheese. <laughs> Good. <laughs> so you wanted all the cheese. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You lose a point, you're out of here. So you rotate and it allows everyone to play. And then you can really tell who's the best. Look, watch this. <laughs> I'm, I'm not the best. <laughs> oh no. Inside this video. Do it again. I don't know what I'm doing. Get her to lick the face. Aha. Bonjour. Well, I still well, need you. Well, they like, keep you're a good home. cook, but like, you know, I can make my own eggs. <laughs> <laughs> but would you? You make better eggs. Is there anything you want to show us? Anything you're really proud of or that you just simply well, want to show us? a funny off? topic, but the, the composting toilets. Yeah, I can show you if you want. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We are okay. totally into composting yeah. toilets. Yeah. <laughs> well, we have a composting toilet on our boat, too. Yeah. 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 Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. We can yeah. give you a tour of ours, too, one day if you want. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I'd love to see that. Well, <laughs> well I'll, show, yeah. I'll tell you what, I'll show you mine, and then you can show me yours when I come out there. Uh, which toilet is the most respectable? <laughs>